Houdini 21 has changed some things about how UDEMs work. So let's look at how they've changed and how they compare to Houdini 20.5. So Houdini 21 has added some UDEM support. If I jump up in our stage context here and just look at our copnet, we have this new setting here that says default UDEM. And that means that that's going to make that available inside of our copnet as well as this little checkbox right here. So if I look at our soft geometry here, I just have a model that has been loaded in that has some UDEMs assigned to it. And then this is all normal stuff that you do to rasterize this down to UVs. So if I let me reset our viewport here, if I look at this, we have our our all of our UVs baked down to their individual UV, UDEM tiles. You can see we just have this set to UVs, and then we're going to go ahead and rasterize that geometry. Now that's going to give us just one of our UDEM tiles. Now you would think if I check this UDEM box, so that's going to change our UDEM if we were to change this number here. But you can see that that doesn't actually do that. So if we want that to change or this to update our UDEM tile, then we need to add a couple of things to our rasterized geo. So we need to add a layer node, and then we need to add the new UDEM node. So this match UDEM. So I'll plug our layer into that match UDEM, then I can wire that into our camera reference for our node. And if I go ahead and change this number now, you can see that that's going to update the UDEM tile number. Now I can go ahead and uncheck that, and you can see we're going to snap back to that first one because I also have a setting on this match UDEM that allows me to check this and then move between the different UDEM tiles. So if we want to work on different UDEM tiles, then this is how we're going to end up doing that. We're going to you know, lay down multiple of these setups here with this match UDEM and this rasterized geo. And we're going to just move between the different tiles. So we can, you know, move between them all and you can see what's going on here. So if I didn't take that and just, you know, assign a color to it and we look at that on our mesh, you can see that we still have the same issue that we had in 20.5. And really that's where most of the changes have taken place. We have a ROP that allows us to, or some changes to the ROP allow us to, you know, export our UDEM range. We have the, um, the same thing that allows us to import UDEMs in this file node. So you can use the UDEM, this, um, let me just get rid of that. You can use this UDEM to, you know, bring in the, the UDEM that you're, you're looking for. But with the preview material, we don't have the ability to actually look at the individual UDEMs or all of the UDEMs on, on one model which is kind of a, a shame, uh, but I'm, they're going to add that. I know that they're going to add that. They just haven't, you know, got around to actually, you know, setting it up for use inside of COPS. And if we look inside this preview material, you can see how this is actually set up, which is basically a bunch of switch nodes where we're feeding in, like we bring in our inputs here, and then we're feeding them into a switch here that allows us to switch between whether or not they're a constant um, or if it's wired up then it's going to switch to whatever our base color is and then that's just going into our cable pack which goes into our output and that's assigning the shader so um, it's a little bit complex to get that all working just in like looking about looking at it and thinking about it because udems right if i look at our model here or our udems this is our first UDEM, right? And then as we move across here, we go, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And then we move up in rows as well. So in order for that to all work flawlessly inside of this preview material, that's quite a bit of logic that they're going to have to, you know, figure out and get in there. So it doesn't surprise me that they haven't added that yet. But as far as UDEMs go, that's pretty much where this update has has taken us. We haven't really gotten a whole lot. We still have to, you know, bake to disk in order to get the UDEMs to load properly inside of a Karma material. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to actually take the output of a, a cop node and load that into our, our materials and have it 
have it be able to evaluate to a UDEM tile. So um, if I'm if I'm wrong on that, then feel free to correct me. But I don't believe that there's a way to make that happen. So still have to bake to disk, and then we can bring that into our our final material and take a look at it. But that doesn't help us when we're trying to you know work on our model and figure out what is going on. We'd have to like blast away the individual pieces of our model and then load them in individually to see what they look like. And we also don't have the ability to like merge these. There's no merge node inside of uh, COPS as far as like, this is just an average node. So this isn't really like a merge. So we can't like merge geometry streams together and look at them. So if I wanted to like, you know, merge in our geometries, like we don't have the ability to, to do that, right? So there's no way to actually like preview individual pieces of the model and then have them all like in your viewport at the same time. Uh, as far as I'm aware, like I said, I, I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, there's no way to do that. And if I am wrong, please, by all means, correct me. But anyways, that kind of wraps up the updates for UDEMS. There were some questions about that and what has changed. And I know a lot of people were hoping that it was a more, you know, complete set of tools now, but unfortunately it's just not quite there yet. So we'll see some updates I'm sure in the future and then they'll really get this flushed out and it'll be awesome. But until then, this is what we're stuck with. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Thank you.